Gauteng police reports 11 people have been shot and wounded and two killed in Westbury since Friday. The latest shooting occurred on Monday when an 18-year-old was shot and wounded inside a yard. He was rushed to the hospital and is receiving medical assistance. The incident comes after Keenan Sheldon Ibrahim, the alleged leader of Fast Guns Gang, was killed last week. It's believed that Ibrahim was shot due to an ongoing war in Westbury and neighboring suburbs. Octavia Hendricks, a Westbury resident, told News24 she is scared. I'm fearful on a daily. I'm cooking with fear. I'm in the house with fear. I dress kids in, in my um, house home with fear. We have to take the kids to school at with fear. I mean, really, our kids live two minutes away from school, but they cannot walk by themselves. My daughter is in matric this year, but she can't walk back by herself. We have to go and collect her like as if she's a baby. We are prisoners. That's what, that's what we are, because we have to keep our kids indoors 24-7 just to make sure that they are safe. It's not fair. So fear is definitely there. It, it doesn't go away, you sleep, and even your, your gate, if it's open like that, you, you, you'll find something to close it, just so that it looks like there's no one home. That's how much the fear is. She said authorities needed to find long-term solutions. At this point, I can't say because they said that we must bring in the army. The army was here. We've been striking up and down. We went to the police station to go and um, strike and stuff. The police is here patrolling two minutes, five minutes. And then, uh, so for me, we really need to find something that's very steadfast because this is not helping us moving up and down, marching with banners and stuff. That doesn't work. Because as soon as we put our banners down, then things happen again. As soon as the police, the police leave the area, that's when things happen again. So even if they are, they're quiet, everyone's quiet. As, as soon as they drive out, then it's a problem. So now we don't even know when it's going to happen. It's just randomly. And how do you prepare yourself to run when it just happens? Via a statement, police say they have mobilized resources to the area and investigations are underway.